Hello, I'm Senate President Justin Alfond. Tonight, Governor Paul LePage will deliver the state of the state to the legislature and to the people of Maine. For those of you who listen tonight, you may agree with what the governor has outlined, or you may not. But one thing all of us as Mainers agree on is that we want to live in a state that's prosperous. We want to know that our children will have a more secure and brighter future than our own. We want to know that our parents, as they age into their twilight years, can do so with dignity. We want to know that if we work hard, we can pay our bills and put away money for our future. We know what a growing and prosperous economy looks like. It's an economy where our small businesses are thriving and innovating, with access to capital and a skilled workforce. It's where our kids get an exceptional education from our public schools, from pre-K to college and beyond and where they choose to stay in Maine because the opportunities that lie ahead of them exist right here in Maine. It's where families don't live in fear that mounting medical bills will lead to bankruptcy or to the loss of their home. And it's where the Maine economy is leveraging our competitive advantages, like our cities and town centers, our working forests, farms, and coastland to attract people and new businesses. Mainers have a long history of prospering and we can do it again. But we've got some work to do. The number of families who are living in poverty and homeless is rising more than ever. In fact, and sadly, one in four children in Maine is hungry. It's the third highest rate of child hunger in the nation. That's unacceptable. Our economy is still lagging behind the rest of our New England neighbors and job growth is nearly stagnant. While our New England neighbors have regained all of their jobs lost during the recession, Maine has only regained one third. We can do better than that. As lawmakers, you put us in charge to make the tough choices and come up with solutions to these challenges. And you're right, it's up to us. Inevitably, there are those places where we may not find agreement, whether it's providing health care to 70,000 Mainers, including 3,000 veterans through Maine Care expansion, or keeping our funding promises to Maine's towns and cities through revenue sharing. There are and is plenty of room for disagreement, but when political rhetoric trumps good policy, no one wins. We were sent to Augusta to serve the people of Maine. It's been said before, no one party has a monopoly on good ideas. And it's true. The people of Maine don't care if it's a democratic idea or a Republican idea. They want solutions. We must work together to find those areas of common ground, areas where we can work together with our Republican colleagues and with the governor to move our state forward. Thank you for listening. This is Senate President Justin Alpond of Portland.